All right. What's going on, everybody? So um, I think one of the things that I really wanted to jump on here now, especially with open AI and Microsoft making moves and, you know, Amazon and Google and everyone coming out with their tool set, especially a, a bunch of the other non for profit um, or research groups coming out with their whole artificial intelligence tool set. One of the things I want, I really want to do in a Microsoft Power Platform place space really is to really just kind of build these solutions that leverage AI. What I'm seeing in the power platform space, which I thought was very interesting that, you know, it seemed like we would have pivot to more so to show how we can build artificial intelligence solutions versus using artificial intelligence to use, you know, large language models to create solutions, right? Uh, I don't think... I. I I think there's a need for that, but I think the true value, especially from a business value add that can really be a game changer for a company or a business is to leverage the artificial intelligence technology to solve, you know, to have that embedded or peppered into a power platform solution to really take that solution to another level. And that's what I wanted to create this series on. So, if you look at the whiteboard, basically what I'm looking to do is to create an artificial intelligent uh, help desk system, right? And basically what this is going to do, and we know that when you call the help desk, especially when there's an outage, you have to sit on the phone and wait for someone to pick up. But imagine if we created an AI help desk bot that would be, you know, it would have some type of interface. And again, I haven't designed this yet, but this is who I want to build. Uh, through the week, um, you know, on my, you know, late night or when I have free time and when I'm not actually working or consulting, um, what I want to build is an AI bot that really allows a user within the organization to, you know, use natural language to describe the issue that they're having and have the bot uh, go ahead and solve for that. Now, and the way I, I see this working is that and we can grow into it, but for right now, what we want to do is have this power power apps form, right? And this could be a Canvas app or whatever the case may be. And of course, that's going to be driven by a SharePoint list, right? And we're going to have two lists. We're going to have one list to handle uh, if there's an issue, have that. Um, Record it into a SharePoint list. So let's just call this call this the help desk issues. And so we have that recorded. But also, which I think would be very interesting, is to have another SharePoint list to track the conversations per user. So this would kind of be like the chat history between the bot and the associate. So let's just call this the chat history. And once you see this, you will see how this is all uh, is going to work out, especially where we use the open AI. Now, this will be open AI. So we're going to use the open AI uh, completion endpoint. And we're going to use the 3.5 turbo uh, model, AI model within open AI to solve for this. At the time of this video, for GPT-4 was not available or else we would use that model. Right. And. This is going to be the goal. So the goal is going to be to uh, solve for Windows 10 and Windows 11 issues, right? And um, that's a good point. I don't know if Windows 11 would be available because it cut off with September 2021. So we probably have to scope this to, to Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, what I have here, let's, let's just kind of highlight this in blue. What I have here in blue, now let's go orange. What I have here in orange will be public knowledge, right? So this would be information that the bot would be able to get right off the internet and solve for that. You know, whatever generic Windows 10 and Windows 11, this is not going to be anything company specific, uh, but, you know, that's going to be solved for that. Now, we do want to test this out to see if, if we can pull off company-related configuration and issue and troubleshooting. So we're going to have VPN troubleshooting, right? And this is going to be so this is the information only a particular company will have. Right. So let's just say use our Tesla 
again, be, being a, not affiliated with Tesla, don't have any uh, work or contracts or master agreement with Tesla, but we use Tesla because I'm a huge fan boy, and that's going to be using my versus, that's going to be my car, cons, consto, Costello, Consto. What's the Microsoft, fake put that in the chat, the Microsoft fake company name. So this, so Tesla's going to be our real fake company name that we would use, right? So we're going to do VPN troubleshooting, and we're also going to do um, MFA support, right? And this is going to be how uh, Tesla will handle this, MFA support, right? So the, 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 the challenge is going to be how do you incorporate what's in orange, right, which is generic Internet stuff, versus company specific stuff for VPN and company specific stuff for MFA, right? And that's not multi form uh, multi factor authentication, right? So we want that type of support. And you know, I think that's enough for now. And here's the other thing. So it's going to the bot is going to be created to do what it needs to do uh in the what it can, right, to solve these issues. And when it cannot solve the issue, we want it to kick it out and have a human uh, take over. So we want to kick out to a human, right? And this is where they were either, I don't know how we're gonna handle this yet. It could just be, you know, put it in the SharePoint list, right? And then route that as an email or some type of notification to the help desk, maybe their uh, Microsoft Teams uh, chat or maybe just a generic email distribution group for them to handle, all right? So, and the goal is, again, to demonstrate that, yeah, using AI to describe of how to create a power app for a help desk system and how to route, how to create a power automate to send email notification based on a status change of a help desk request. I think that's cute and I think that's nice. But the true benefit is to build something like this, right? Because what happens when there's an issue? So imagine if there is a network outage, right? And you only have a handful of people on the help desk. So in green, that's the associate at the company. And then in blue, uh, this is your first line of defense. And what ends up happening is that the number is busy. There is, uh, or you go to voicemail, and then all these get queued up. And then someone in the first line of defense would then have to answer all those voicemails. Most of the time, I think they ignore them. I don't think anyone's answering the calls, right? So you leave a voicemail, so they allow you to do something just so that you feel satisfied. So imagine if you can, you know, at the time, if there is an issue, you put the AI bot to, to handle all of that pressure. And then when and only when they cannot handle the FAQs, does it then get into the queue for a human and then they will follow up and, and handle that. And what we want to do is that before we hand it off to this human, that the human who picks it up has a chat history of what the AI bot and the associate had and how far they got with troubleshooting. And of course, if the AI bot can solve it, then, you know, the person, you know, get their issue resolved. There's a log history of what was happening, how the resolution went, and everyone's good to go. So let's see if we can build this in a nights and I would say nights and weekends but today is Monday we want to try to get this solved for Friday and what we're going to do is call these um I don't know do you call them 40 hour solutions because you're not using the whole 40 hours I don't know what we'll call it but we'll come up with a nice series because what I want to do is demonstrate of one using AI to be integrated with the power platform and how you can solve for these in short order or, or some level of a solution in short order. And I think that's the other thing that we struggle with, right? With, you know, when you're talking about uh, artificial, not artificial intelligence, but when you're talking about the power platform, it's super easy to allow these to stall, start with solving a very specific use case or issue, or, you know, we want to automate, we want to do whatever. And then once we get involved, before we get out the gate, before we go live, there's this 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 weird curve that says oh what about this or what about this scenario what about this what about this to where something that started out as a very simple business application solution that should have been okay let me get up a power app gather some information store it in the sharepoint list write it to this person for a notification and we're done it grows into this massive thing so what we're going to do we're going to draw a line in the sand that says what can we fit in in a 40-hour period Again, nights and weekends to try to figure this out. 
um, to get this solved, and that's what we're going to do with this help desk solution. So we're going to create a backlog that says as we go along the way, we may come up with some other cool ideas that we can probably vote on or add on in the future, but let's see if we can get from A to Z, um, MVP, most valuable, you know, valuable product, most valuable product out the gate and something that a u end user can use, even though it's not perfect, but this is something that can stop the bleeding and you're using artificial intelligence for that. And the other thing I want to do is how difficult, how complex would it be if you understand, and again, my premise, my goal, my starting point for this is that you have some level of power apps and power platform and power automate uh, experience, right? This is not for someone who's, oh, this is a new thing. Let me see if I can build this out. I have technical aptitude to figure it out as I go. Let me see how far I can go. This is not that. This is, I built solutions with power apps and power automate. I have a sense on how to gather information, store it in the SharePoint list or Dataverse, and have that route using Power Automate and then, you know, kind of get things done. That's the starting point, and we're going to pepper in open AI. So let's see how far we can get. Super excited about this journey. Let's get started.